Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Rigved Sath. And you'll see in Photopia, I've already opened up a photograph that I took of my son when we were on holiday in Cornwall. And I've also opened up this picture of a cube that I found on Google. First thing I'm going to do is use the magic wand to select one side of that cube and then Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it into my photo. Okay, and now I'm going to use the arrow tool and the shift key to spin this so that it's horizontal. And I'm going to shrink it a bit to an appropriate size. And I'm taking it over a bit of the land and the sea. And then I'm going to use the magic wand to select it. And then I'm going to press Control C and Control V to copy and paste that same shape out of the photo and onto its own layer. I'm then going back to the arrow tool and along with the shift key, rotating it back to the shape that it was. And I have that bit of land and sea as its own layer as that shape. Okay. I'm then going to use the same process, taking that bit of the shape and putting it over another bit of the land and sea and doing the magic wand again to select it and then control C, control V on the photo layer. And that gives me the same shape. And this time I'm rotating it the other way and bringing it up using the arrow tool to fit against the first side. Okay. Now the last shape I think is slightly different. So I'm going to magic wand it from the original cube picture press control C and then control V and there's that shape. And before I do anything, I'm going to resize it. So it is the right size to go on top of the cube. And I can just use these two sides to help me do that. And then I'm going to put it over the sky and in the same way, use the magic wand, select it, control C on the photo layer, control V. So that becomes its own bit of shape on its own layer and then move that into place. And that is how we make our cube out of bits of the landscape. Okay. So now I'm going to take those three layers and select them all so I can move them all at once. And then using the arrow tool, move them into position, which is just over my sun. Maybe make it a bit smaller so that it fits more appropriately. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. Right, now we need to add a little bit of light and dark to make this cube feel more three dimensional. So on the left hand layer, we're going image adjustments, hue saturation, and I'm bringing up the lightness. And then same with the right hand side, image adjustments, hue saturation. This time I'm bringing it down so it's darker. Click OK. And then on the top side, a little bit darker than it is, image adjustments, hue saturation, and bring the lightness down just a little bit. OK. Right. Now we've done that, we need to be bringing my son so he's in front of the cube. So I've made the bits of the cube invisible for now, and I'm now going to use the polygonal select tool to draw a mask around my son. And I do like the polygonal select tool it gives you a lot of control, making sure that you click as close as you can to the edge of your figure. As usual, I suggest you take more time than me. I'm just being quick for the purposes of the tutorial and ignore the screencastify notification on the left there. I'll just get rid of that. Okay. Right. Now we want to control C, making sure we're on the photo layer to copy the shape and then control V to paste it onto its own layer, which will then drag above the cube layers. And if we make them visible again, you can then see my son in front of the cube. And just one last thing I want to do 
is make everything a little bit more vibrant. So I'm going to select all my layers and merge layers and then go image adjustments, hue saturation. And I'm just going to put the saturation up a little bit to make all my blues that little bit bluer. And that is this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.